NBC Force John Caddish Klimak. We saw him a moment ago when they had that uh, little aftershock down there. He uh, continues our live coverage live in Calexico. Hey, Chuck, you know, when we talked about that uh, aftershock, it was a 5.0 aftershock, happened just after 6.30 this morning. There was a, a different feeling to that one. That one kind of felt like it was going to the left and the right. There was one around 4.15 this morning that we felt that felt more like a bounce. And since then, we've had quite a few little jolts where it almost feels like someone's either pushing you forward or maybe the whole ground just seems to fall maybe just a half a centimeter or something. But you can definitely feel something. And obviously, we've been showing you a lot of the damage here on the Calexico side. I want to point out to you what the folks are dealing with some of these places have been red tagged behind me. This is one of the little convenience stores here. The window shattered out as a result of that 7.2 earthquake on Sunday. Still a lot of glass that is here. There are pieces of the ceiling too that have come down and even inside the stores obviously when you look at the shelves everything just seems to have just fallen over when this thing actually hit. Sometimes when we look inside you can actually see the shopping carts where it looks like folks have uh, you know when they were in there when this thing happened it's almost like time stood still. They stopped what they were doing they dropped their shopping carts and they left the building as quickly as they could. It seems like no one's been back since. They have been trying to clean up a lot of this, but all the way down here, you see all the damage that's here? It is rampant completely all the way down this street. This is one of the main streets here in Calexico. There's a six block area that has been sectioned off by the police department, also border patrol in this area, keeping an eye on folks to make sure there's no looting that happens here while they try to work through all this. Another thing I want to point out, there are cracked roads that they have to deal with. A lot of, of uh, different infrastructure that uh, will have to be fixed as a result of this earthquake. Folks are saying that if they think it was bouncy driving around California roads uh, before. This is just uh, adding to some of the hassles. Also want to point out the Border Patrol offices, the actual building that, uh, that separates Mexico from the U.S. Apparently, there's been some extensive damage in there to the point where they've shut down that building and folks that are trying to make their way in or out of the country uh, are actually using a different route that they've set up just with yellow tape uh, and uh, Border Patrol agents and Customs agents standing there guarding, watching folks and checking passports as they come through. A lot of damage that they have to deal with and a lot more to show you as we continue our coverage. For now, we're live in Calexico. I'm John Caddy's Klimak, Channel 4 News. Chuck. John, I know that you were on the other side of the border as well. The damage obviously is much greater and it's probably, what, just a couple of miles from where you are right now? Actually, even less than that, Chuck, directly across the border, maybe even 50 yards from where we're standing. We spoke with a guy who runs a, uh, a business there. It's a restaurant supply business. Well, he was pointing out if this had happened just 24 hours later at 3.40 on a Monday, that's, the, that's the, probably a very busy time of day for him. He says he's lucky that his employees were not there when it happened. So he's having to deal with that. The front facade of his, of his store is down. We saw a church there, like Iglesia de San Antonio. That church is dealing with some issues. They have like a steeple towards the top with a cross on top of it, that steeple is missing uh, one, one of the sides of it. So, I mean, it's obvious the damage that's uh, that's down in that area. There's also a, a giant parking garage that was just in the middle of being constructed right next to City Hall in Mexicali that, uh, that suffered some major damage. Apparently, according to the city, that uh, parking garage was supposed to be able to withstand an earthquake of this magnitude. Obviously not, or it's just the fact that it hadn't been completed just yet. Good news, nobody was in that when it happened, Chuck. I just want to say that uh, John and his crew are doing all this on very little sleep. They got down there late last night around our late news. They've been broadcasting uh, live this morning and whatnot, and we appreciate that. And we're going to be going back to John throughout the hour, and he's uh, got a tape. He's going to show us what it looks like in Mexico itself. Thanks again. We appreciate that.